Odogu got something right now cooking and a lot of us are talking about it. Bonner Boy becomes the first music artist to reach 100 million streams on the music app Boomplay. That is something that is huge and a huge landmark for most Nigerian artists at this point in time. And I have something on like, you know, Google celebrates late her life uh, maestro um, Oliver the Koke uh, post humorous birthday with doodle arts and that is actually huge and i think a lot of nigerians are getting some kind of uh, recognition at this point in time or so and i have something like um church wedding is not a christian wedding reno omokri actually films um this is coming from the way most people are seeing uh this wedding issue in churches and that is something that is uh, getting him disturbed uh he actually welcomed a new child recently and that i would say congratulations to you know reno or mockery before i jump right in i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make Make sure you share my videos across social media platforms. Alright now, before I jump fully right in to discuss a lot of things, I want to tell you that man, we got a lot of new artists um, this 2020 in Nigeria right now, already they are sending out bombs. These ranges from the likes of Omali, we have Ruga Irasta and we have Thames already bringing out dope content and let's listen to um, one of them. What do you have to say about this young artist i need that in the comment section right now i got something on Bonner boy becoming the first music artist to reach 100 million streams on the music app boom play that is a huge landmark for most nigerian artists and he did um about 29 million streams with african giant album you know uh, until uh, twice as tall album that got a grammy awards you know um equal it to 100 million streams and that is actually lit and a twice as tall album did well uh, on that uh, pl uh, platform you know having a kind of uh, 1 million streams within 24 hours of being released on that platform that is something we need to actually celebrate about yes bonaboy is our own some people find a way to uh, discredit bonaboy because they believe so much in davido or whiskey but whether you like it or not yes davido is our own bonaboy is our own and whiskey is our own time has come for us to celebrate them guys we need to put our hands together and then find a lasting solution to the beef going on between Bonner Boy Davido and Whiskey at this point in time at the time Davido made it known to us that yes fans are the problem between um, him and Whiskey even Bonner Boy at the point in time because they are constantly interpreting um, some kind of reaction some kind of post statement coming from them individually and that is not actually good at all and uh, i'm looking forward to seeing a day where i uh, will have the likes of Bonner boy davido and whiskey on the same song and that will be one of the biggest song coming from africa that is something i'm looking forward to yes celebration time right now google celebrates uh, late her life maestro oliver the coke post humorous birthday with a doodle art and i think uh some kind of recognition you know of this old timed artist that is something that we need to actually welcome the likes of fella they are being celebrated by google celebrated around the world and a lot of people are voting for fella right now you know 
into um, the Hall of uh, Fame right now. And uh, you know, we have the likes of um, you know Usadibi. We have the likes of Vito Waifu. We have the likes of Oliver De Coke. We have the likes of Sonia Adi and a lot of others. I think we need to actually find a way to celebrate these our own artists because these people lay down the foundation for us to you know um, see uh, the new artists or the recent artists like Two Face, Idibia, uh, Davido, Whiskey, Burner Boy grow, and they actually lay the framework on which these people are building on now. And I think we need to find a way to constantly celebrate them. <laughs> I remember sometimes in 1999 I saw Oliver and I was just like all excited about it I've been a fan of this uh, man you know before he died I was always listening to his song and after his death sometimes I listen to his uh, music and that is already uh, you know kind of informing me about the legacy that these guys have actually dropped for us to follow especially entertainers at this point in time and we also uh, have to celebrate um, these um, even the ones that are alive and the ones that are dead like um, you know um, Sonny Ade we have Vitor Waifu and a lot of others and I think Hedis Award needs to actually find a way to celebrate all these people and that will be lit Song of the Year a voting category for most popular song in the year on the review Fem Davido. Yes, Reno Omokri is now talking about um, you know Christian wedding and saying a lot of things that some people are finding difficult to actually um, you know kind of uh, agree to that is something that he's saying he said church wedding is not a Christian wedding and that is coming from Renu Omokri because this guy is vast in the Bible knowledge and I think he has read a lot of things you know uh, got to understand a lot of things about the whole thing in his tweet he said church wedding is not a Christian wedding some people say it is necessary because pastors are God representative on earth my question is this what are your parents devil representative on earth no blessing on earth is greater than uh, parents blessing or parental blessing and that he actually said in a recent tweet and I think he made a lot of sense out of that and we need to respect the fact that yes the so-called white wedding is somebody's traditional marriage you know is the western traditional marriage you know they do it in church uh, but what he is arguing about is that yes if you say that yes god um uh, god represented you on earth is only your pastor what of your parents in your life that is something he's trying to say that if your marriage has gotten the uh, the blessings of your parents yes you are married already and who we agree with that i need that in the comment section because me i agree with that uh 100% that is something i'm telling you guys right now but before we jump off i want you guys to kindly subscribe to this youtube channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure we share our videos across our social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media and don't fail to drop your comment in the comment section below